All right, guys, another New Jersey gem today. Today we're at Forest Hill Field Club. We're guests of our good friend Todd Maloof. We may even have the pro jump off and join us for a bit. Maybe we can pick up some tips, but this is a pure tilling has. You'll see in a minute how tight these fairways are. Tree lined fairways, tons of bunkering, very pure white sand bunkering. So it is a real treat to get a chance to play here. It actually has been many years since Mike and I last played here. So this is going to be a treat. We're going to have a little bit of fun. So follow along. Dead center middle, primo real estate right there. You gotta have your breakfast with a lie like this. It's gonna grab. I played in some wet rough yesterday, it's gonna grab. All right. You have to open the club face right up. Oh, nice yeah, kick. Look at that. Is that gonna go on the green? bounce. <laughs> Not even a member. Dude paid his dues. All right, off to a good start here on one. Always good when you have a birdie putt. Landed the 60 degree in, pulled it back a little bit, pin high. Now the pressure of birdie. Yeah. So we got number two here, par four, about 380 yards here. That fairway bunker on the left wasn't there about two months ago. Uh, Tom Kite put that in. He uh, kind of protected the hole a little bit, whereas longer hitters, his hitters could just kind of hit on the left up there in the rough and have a wedge in. Now you gotta hit a little butter cut to navigate the fairway to have a good second shot for the green. All right, let's, let's see that butter cut. That's my shot <laughs> shape your, right here. That's your, let's go. By the way, Jason and I are yeah. twinning today. Yes, you are. This? Got the memo, it. I like I mean, it. Yeah. Come on. We're looking good. <laughs> Swing, man. All right, so I guess this is where Tillinghast can get you, right, Jason? So yes, sure. I left myself an incredibly difficult swooper down this hill with a complete false front. What do you do here? I I'm thinking about lining and just letting it die here. Tell me if I'm right or wrong. And you made a par in the first hole. Let's just kind of lag this thing up, tap in for four here, move on to the, the third hole. Don't get crazy where you know, give it a shot to make it or blow it by off the green. So probably the right idea. Super easy to four putt for We gotta call the superintendent after this though and complain about this one. <laughs> Please. <laughs> here we go. Good putt. Good putt. <laughs> four, what four? Forget what I just said. Look at that. Man. I'm learning. I'm, I, I, that's my first two holes, this guy. <laughs> that's it, man. Just get it down that fairway, dude, on that awkward lie. Great shot. Set up a wedge. Not quite Mike's level. Not quite. Oh, how good does it look? Thank God you got that on camera. This looks good. Oh, this is where in edit we insert this right here. That's why. We've got this guy with us. That's the coolest thing, yeah. Yeah, you have to see that. That's fantastic, Zach, oh my God. I better see that on your Instagram, bye. Bye, before we leave today. All right, first part three here. And I love this part three because it kind of has like this Augusta feel. Big green, two bunkers in front here. Uh, 150, little wind. Jason's gonna go first and kind of give us a yardage. Oh, could he be in? All right. I think it's probably playing 50, 55. All right, another birdie putt. Oh, great putt. Nice. Oh.
All right, so Jason, I want you to tell me a little bit about the bunkering because I hear there's some ties even to Augusta. Pretty cool, so there's two parts to this. One is the Billy Fuller aspect, who is the former superintendent of Augusta National, came out with the Better Billy Bunker System, which is state-of-the-art technology. And then Tom Kite, who is the other architect, along with Billy Fuller here at Forest Hill for the renovation, um, who pretty much decided like a bunker right, like right there that's now 260, 270 yards from the tee box, used to be 210, 220 yards from the tee box. Uh, it's a lot different. The caliber player and the technology is a lot different than when Tillinghast designed the golf course. So he wanted to make the golf course itself a little bit easier for the higher handicapper, that mm -hmm. 210, 220 yard drive, and a little, little more difficult um, for the 270, 280 yard driver who's a lower handicap, make him think about hitting maybe a little fade off the tape. Gotcha. And there's a lot of bunkers out there. 54 bunkers, man. Yeah. 54 bunkers. <laughs> ton, ton of sand out here. And so they make it porous, so when it rains, it drains really well. So. That's kind of where that comes into play. And testament to that is we got a lot of rain yesterday and you don't see that one puddle out Nothing here. in there, yep. So it worked. It worked. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Number one handicap hole here. Mike's got a look to put it on. Let's see. Let's go. Get up that hill. Be right side of the green. Bunker. Yeah. It's a protected green, man. Mike's the only guy I know who can have this happen to him twice in about three rounds. You know, at, at least you could say you've got experience. I've got a lot of experience. This just happened recently at Suburban, and we called in the pro, Mark McCormick. Remember, he came over, yep. Friday glide. Today, Jason, you're gonna help me with this one, man. What's the play? Open so, up the club face, bang it into the wall? Or? So I would actually do the opposite. I'm gonna close this club face down okay. and get a little steeper into it. Okay, get steeper. Get a little more V-like, yep. Okay. Yep. And then just and keep that weight forward up the hill here, too. Oh, oh look at that oh. shot! You know, you're entirely too good at those I'm, shots. I know, I'm starting sad. to get a little nervous it's about that. It's kind of sad, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, at, look at the aftermath, too. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Oh. You got your work to do now. This would be one hell of an up and down. Yeah, finish it up. Ah. See this here, this is my retirement plan, Mike. Right? You're just gonna sit here and watch guys play? All day, just watch them come up. A couple approach shots? Yep. A couple golf claps. Right like this. This is just Frank the golf guy. Yeah. Like that guy who sits on the seventh green. Nice one, son. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right, guys, 10th hole here. It looks a lot like the first. Again, go that real big elevation change straight out. But again, tight fairway. You can't go right. All OB. I mean, that's you're, you're hitting into someone's backyard if you go right. through. Yep. It went through all right. I tried to keep it under it. Yeah. Uh, Birdie putts. Birdies don't come easy out here. Too much. I thought that was uphill. All right, Jason, you said Although it's the number two handicap, you believe this is the hardest hole in the course. Yeah, for sure. So it takes a good poke to get up to the top shelf right there to have a a realistic shot to hit the green in two. And then if you do happen to hit two good shots, it's the most treacherous green on the golf course by far. If you're behind the pin, you better make it because you're not making the next one. <laughs> okay, okay. That's a setup for you. Where'd that go? Up. Up. Straight up. In the fairway. You're fine there, Frank. Between these two trees, but yeah, there it is, right there at the top. All right, can you play that low bender fade? <laughs> like Paul Watson. Seriously, they call this punch and pray. Yeah, dude, you kept it closed. You got it up there. I think you're dancing. Sometimes a plan does come together. Hit that punchy five, and uh, we're on the green. Got lucky. 
<laughs> I like how he immediately chalks it up to luck. It probably was, but still. All right, we got a birdie putt. What a shot. Great shot. Waves to the imaginary crowd. Oh! Does a red light mean I have to lay up? Yes. Or, yes. <laughs> stop sign. Definitely. It's a stop. <laughs> no, no. So what do no, we got so here? We got a, a car path right there. It's pretty active. So uh, this little light right here throws on, or the switch throws on. I see. So this guy, he, if he's listening, he should. For now, he's the man. Though. Oh, I was gonna say he's he, he just rolled right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. But it has nothing to do to do with the 290 yard go for it here. I think you kind of goes on no matter what. No matter what, lights on or lights off, it doesn't matter. <laughs> You need a draw here. Oh, top of the bunker. Chiropractor special? I think I'm in a chiropractor special this one. I like it. Power alley. Get up there. Oh! Woo! Blew it on! Let's go! Alright, we're gonna upgrade guys to this. Beauty. Sprung for the upgrade. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> of all the crazy things that happened on a golf course, Rob, the owner, saw our story earlier where Mike was talking about that sick cart and he popped his head out. He goes, you guys want to drive it? So he just hooked us up with this thing. It does about 45 miles an hour. It's got heated seats. It's got a radio system in it. I mean, the thing is, is dope. Now we got that for the back nine. But seriously, this thing is crazy fast. I think I'm making a huge mistake giving Mike the keys. I remember the time I had to take the keys away from him in Scotland. <sighs> Let's see if we survive this. I see what you mean though about strategic bunkers. Where they put that one is right yeah. in your like line. Exactly, here. yeah. Making the long hitters think or the better player think. That's working nicely. Ew, the butter cut. Wow. Great shot. Settle there. Right there. Should be all right. There it is. Yep. Kick left. Good catch. All right, Jason, so these couple holes here look a little bit different than I remember them six years ago. Yeah, this stretch from 13 where we just played 14 and 15, by far the most work that's been done in this golf course in this last three holes. This tee box right here, totally brand new. So you used to tee off from up there, you know, you can get home in two if you're a bigger hitter. Now you put the tee box back here, you gotta really pump one like Mike's distance to go into. <laughs> uh, you got massive bunkers on the left side, we'll kind of see when we get up there. That affect both 15 and 14, so we'll kind of pick that up up there. We gotta come up with a cool name for this yeah, three-hole stretch. 13, 14, and 15. I don't know what we can call it yet, but maybe it'll come. Yeah. It'll come to us. Right. This is about as far back as we can take it here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, settle right there. Chuck. Yeah, I think that should be all right. Yep. Yeah. Love that, Frank. You're right, man. 227 to the front, go zone, but way up the hill, so probably not a go. Just what are you, three wood, hoping break? Three wood and maybe, okay. maybe get there. Let's go. So I could see what Jason was saying about all these bunkering. Check those things out. Pretty there, man. Right? Beautiful, but gnarly. You get in now. I mean, talk about fairway bunkers. Yeah. Deep. Look at the moguls. And I think Jason, you stayed out of it, huh? Looking back down the fairway here, you can get a little bit of a gauge of what Jason was saying uh, about that bunkering, the new bunkering on the left. You can see it's so brand new. Some of that, uh, the rough around it is growing in, but it really pushes golfers right off the tee, which brings water into play. So it's definitely a thinking man's tee shot with some of this strategic bunker placement. Maybe you heard it in the background. Did you have that, uh, at least that audio? I didn't want to roll camera because I didn't think I would Texas wedge this to my third eagle of my entire life. Let me take it. <laughs> that 
That's so sick. Well, now I know to wait for the camera now going forward. My mistake. <sighs> Eagles don't come around too often. <sighs> I think I'm on for something uh, pretty sweet here, guys, by the way. My chariot awaits. I left the blinker on. I hear it. Yep. Yeah, I left the blinker on. Okay. Good. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. Yeah, that one off. One off. That oh! Only happens once, guys. <laughs> Don't be in that bunker. Splash. Splash the sand. sands. There's no pro tip for this, Frank. No, there's nothing to be done. All right, man. Let's see what happens. She. You got this. That was a nice, oh, nice try, great man. Great effort. We put the effort in. Yeah, we put the sure. effort in. So 17's a gripping and ripping hole. Gripping and ripping, man. We got 430 yards back here. He My kind of hole. That. My kind of hole. Let's go. <laughs> oh yeah. There he is. The butter cut. That might make it rain. Woo! We're gonna give Zach some bonus points today for effort. You're a dangerous man. Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Do not try this at all. <laughs> Great oh. shot. No, you guys just keep out driving. Yeah, shot. Yeah, we know that scoring happens from there. So look at this. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> what a shot. That's sick. You got wind in your face, you got wind behind you. It's uphill and it's down. It's a sideways. <laughs> Alright, get out of my head. <laughs> Feels weird going last in this group. <laughs> it does, right? Yeah. What happens when you eat your Wheaties? Yes, dude. Be all over that thing. Yes, you. <laughs> we'll take that. <laughs> All right, guys, headed to the 18th hole, and this is one that we've been excited about the whole time. Oh, and also, I don't want to tell Mike, but it's peaked at the scorecard. He's been playing really well. This is a tough hole. If he pars it, he breaks 80 for only the second time in his life. He shoots 79 if he pars it. I don't think I want to put that extra pressure on him. It's a hard enough hole. Let's just see how he plays. He's been playing well. All right, so we got about 2.05 or so actually here, about probably 20, 30 yards of the elevation plus the wind. I'm going to probably try some 240 here. This is all you can handle for part. It's like, uh, it's like here, like, like, yeah. like we're at the U.S. Open, right? Seriously. So I wore the right shirt. <laughs> you wore the right shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. dude. Did you add up my score? You I'm did. not going to tell you. You did, though. You don't want to know, right? Just make par. That's all I'm going to ask you to do. Can oh. you make par here? Why'd I ask him? I got to up and down it now, Frank. Oh, oh Frank, yeah. did he find it the green? Me. Did he find the green? Did he find it? Oh, it's leaking a little. Leaking. Oh! <laughs> We thought you had it. Heartbreaker. All right, we got some difficult shots here. We're going to take a crack at in a moment, but just can't thank the whole team here at Forest Hill Field Club enough. This place has just been an absolute treat today. Impressed from start to finish with what they did here. It is such a beautiful place. If you get the opportunity to play it, absolutely jump on it. It has just been terrific here today. Oh, look at this shot. It's just getting better. Great shot from up there. All right, Mike with the Hail Mary. Oh, gonna whip hard left to right. Yeah, down the hill, right? You wanna almost aim at my ball from what Jason was telling me over there. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. <laughs> For the big eight zero. Let's go, put this home, send it home. Come on, get that 80. Get that. Oh, that's a hard break. Good stuff, that man. That's awesome, dude. Nice job. Time.